Welcome to Cooking with Ariston, and you may not know this, but Ariston is Italy's number one cooking brand. And now I'm going to show you how to use the oven and cook a beautiful pork belly with a little apple and celery salad. So what's the secret of cooking pork and getting the perfect crackling? Number one, buy good pork. This is a Berkshire pork. And it's got a little bit of fat in it because it's pork belly, but that's what makes it truly delicious. You need to salt the skin. This is really important. So we've got a little mortar and pestle. And I've got some spices that really go well with pork. So fennel seed, about a tablespoon. Some cumin seed, boom, about a tablespoon. And a star anise, let's pop one of those in. Basically, no need to toast because you're gonna put this in the oven. This is gonna act as a beautiful seasoning with salt. And what the salt does to the skin is draw the moisture out of the skin so that when you cook it, it goes crispy. So fennel seed, cumin seed, smashed, in with some salt, a couple of tablespoonfuls. Just mix it around. And then, this is gonna seem very extravagant, but basically, you just tip all of that salt over the top of the pork, and just make a little layer all across the skin, like that. Now, we're not gonna bake it like that. That's actually to draw that moisture out of the skin. And what I do is pop that in the fridge, uncovered overnight, and then the following day, you just brush the salt off and then pop that into the oven. So we'll put this aside just for a minute. And gee, it smells delicious. And we'll talk about the oven. I've got one of these at home. It's an open space oven. It's really easy to use. I love it. It's just touch sensitive. So to turn it on, you've got a little button here. You've got some functions. There's 12 functions in all. So you can go from just a standard grill to a convection grill to convection oven, so really, really easy to use. So all I wanna do is just set my oven to fan forced, and then hit go. And with the open space oven, it's got a preset temperature, 200 degrees. Now for my pork recipe, I need 220. The other thing you need to know, and the reason I like it, is because it's a big oven. For a 600 oven, it's 81 liters, so it's one of the biggest in the marketplace. So love that. Imagine our pork has been sitting overnight, all we do is we knock off that salt, so just tap it off, brush it off. It doesn't matter whether there's some salt in the cracks, because what we've got our butcher to do is to score the fat. Now, all we've got to do is pop that in the oven, put it on a tray, a little bit of oil, not too much because there's quite a bit of fat in the pork belly, and I'm just gonna rub that into the skin of the pork, and then into the oven it goes. So I'm gonna leave that pork in at 220, which is a high heat for about 20 minutes. And the reason we do that is because we wanna crisp up that skin, or at least start that process. And then we're gonna cook the pork for about another 40 minutes. And I'm gonna test that with a thermometer again, 65 degrees in the middle, but you know what? One hour for a piece of pork belly like that should be absolutely perfect, whether you test it or not. So pork has been in for about an hour. We've reduced the temperature. Remember after the first 20 minutes to 180 and the crackling's going super crisp. So, looking good. This is what we're after. It's a fair amount of fat that's come out of that, but now what we're gonna do is just let it rest. Remember it's pork belly, so it is a little fattier than say pork loin. So pork will go with a nice fresh salad. And what I've got in here is some, some green beans, some celery, and some lentils. And I love incorporating grains and things like that into salads like this because they go from being simple to being really delicious and quite complex. So celery, beans, lentils. I'm gonna pop an apple in there. Apples and pork, perfect combination. And then just, doesn't matter, odd shapes, random shapes are better. A little bit of seasoning, some salt, some pepper, and I've got some really delicious little lettuces and this little frisé or frizzy lettuce. And then we're gonna make a vinaigrette. Really simple vinaigrette, little teaspoon of mustard, pinch of pepper, pinch of salt. And if you buy some interesting vinegars, things like sherry, sherry vinegar or even red wine vinegar, they've just add another dimension to, to the salad. So put in couple of tablespoons. And then add a couple of different oils. If you use all extra virgin olive oil, for example, it'd be quite bitter. So I tend to use a plain olive oil or a grapeseed oil. 
So you put enough in to split it. There's that old rule, which is one third vinegar, two thirds oil, but it's up to you. These days I don't put so much oil in. And a little bit of extra virgin for flavor. And that's our vinaigrette. No fuss. So let's get our pork out of the pan. That is yummy. And that little rest, five, 10 minutes, has just allowed it to calm down and just all those juices sort of equal out inside the meat. So let's take a little slice, see what it tastes like. So a little bit of pork. And what we'll do is just put a touch of salad on the plate. And then a little bit of the vinaigrette just to finish off. So just drizzle it around. So there we have it. Beautiful, crisp, clean, healthy salad and the best crispy crackling you've ever had.